Hi, yeah. Elena with Stretchy Art. We are going to go over position number two. So people with infinity bars or people with allegros, this is for you. Uh, position number two makes more sense with allegros. It looks like this. Infinity bars, you can go crazy. So number two looks about right here, about mid-carriage. Um, we're going to start off with one blue spring on and get a little stretchy, okay? Not so classical, obviously, this bar's here, so it's going to be some fun stuff. Um, you just know that's what to expect. So again, we're on a blue spring. I'm gonna put my hands on the bar, lift up to my toes. I'm gonna lean forward, make sure I'm not too jammed up. I'm touching the edge of the reformer, so you know. Um, so I am looking for that. So once I'm here, I'm gonna lean back until both of my legs are straight. And then I'm gonna fall into my split, but the split is only what it's gonna allow me to here. And then look up, allow my shin to go. And then let's, let's inhale, actually come in. Let's work with the science of our flexibility here. Exhale as we go out so our fibers can release in the split. Just because we'll say we're just kind of starting this up, warming somebody up in this position for two. Exhale as we start away. Class settings. Usually I set this up for my clients and do whatever I can in this position, move them to someplace else, another apparatus and then change position again, and then do whatever I can in that part of the series. So that's how I set this up for class-wise. Let's go out all the way. Let's keep it out. Good, let's stay here. Good, hips are squared off, so I'm not rotating in one way or the other. Good, we're gonna point flex up like this on the carriage. Now, if your springs are in your way, they'll move. Don't worry about it, so just kind of push them. Make sure you're not moving around the springs. They will move for you. Work your proper alignment here. Again, I'm on high heel on the back foot. Lots of weight on that second toe. Even, but just a little bit more intention on the second toe. Hold it out, keep it out. Let's pulse it, shall we? Control pulses. Good. Let's find the other range of motion. Control pulses here. Find that proper alignment. Don't stress out those muscles. Good, full range of motion again. Good, square yourself off. So I square myself off, I'm like squared up to this wall in front of me like I would lay on that wall. Same with my hips, they're not rotated. Good, let's come up out of this all the way. Shall we go over to the other side? So high heels, I'm on the edge of the carriage. You can always go to another point of the carriage if you wanted. Straighten out both legs, lean back to start off. We fall into it on an exhale, look up. Inhale as we come up. Lean back, try to keep those legs straight, find this edge. And then exhale, fall into it. Good. Keep it up, find that intention on the squared up hips. Trying to stay in releve or high heel on that back foot, standing leg. My right leg. Good. I got a, a Pilates helper today. Miss Brookline. Good. We do one more. And we fall into it. And then we point and flex to put this on the carriage. Find that proper alignment. So by that, I think just drop straight down from the second toe. And then exhale, push up through the second toe. And you'll notice your ankle will like that proper alignment. It won't want to roll off to the side or inward. We'll do one more pass and then we're going to find our little pulses at the top with a high heel. Control pulses. Make sure you don't lose that. It's not worth it. Good. We find it all the way into a flex position, different range of motion, and then pulse here. If you do the opposite, We do the full range of motion again, lots of weight in our second toes. Good. Squaring everything off. Notice what we're looking at. Finding our breath, big, big breaths. Exhaling everything out. Last pass here. Good. Come up. We're gonna be a little spring happy um, just because. So two springs on, two right springs on, or uh, two springs, if that's your level. Let's come up, and this is a heavy setting. So come up. I want a foot on the carriage. I like my big toe not to hang off, but it's just, you know, right there on the edge. 
I'm gonna have my hands on my hips. This is heavy. You open the carriage up and it's not big. That's why that bar's there. So just in case you had heavy hitters and then slowly come in. Good. Slowly press it out. Seems near impossible. If you need to put on one red, one blue to do this, completely okay. And then come in. But I want the heavy so it really makes the side of our body, our abductors work. Press it out. Good. Come in. We're going to press it out and hold it out. Arms to a T position. Hips stay stable. We twist to the one side. We go to the other side. It's an exhale. Look at the back hand when you twist. Stabilize the carriage, it doesn't move. One more on each side. Good, arms forward, arms lift. We're still keeping the carriage out a couple inches. One more pass here. Good, bring those arms back onto those hips. Open the carriage up just a little bit more. Ah, we hold for eight. Seven, good. Six, tuck a tail just a little bit in between your legs. Nothing too crazy. Don't let that butt pop back. Good. I think three, two, ah, and one. Come in. We're going to do it on the other side. If you're in the link read that ground, they would say that that's good on one side. You want to do it on both sides. Physics, I just don't believe it. Let's come up. Let's do it to the other side. It's just a little bit of a different pull with that spring. So hands on those hips. Press it out. Mm. Come in. Let that shaky shaky happen. Press it out. Now try not to let the carriage close in. Try to find that point right before it wants to completely close. Press it out. This might feel hecka hard and then it feels near impossible to push it out. Normal feeling, my friends. You're welcome. Exhale, press. Good, one more pass here. I want to find our T-arm, press it out and we hold it. T-arm, we twist, twist to one, every direction makes you happy. And then go to the other side. So no pulses here, I just want to find a twist and look to the back hand. Good, no pulses, not bringing it back to mat work just because it's such a heavy setting. And I really want to find this control in the hip to be able to support this. Good, a couple more. Mm. One more on each side, keep that carriage open. Last pass. Good. Arms reach up, arms go down. Mm. Arms go up, arms go down. Couple more, keep that carriage open. Mm. One more. Hands on the hip, let's find the superpower of these hips. Open it. We hold eight, seven, six, Five, tuck a tail, four, three, if you had a tail, two, one, come on. Oh, who did that feel good? Yes, okay, so come out of it. Let's be spring happy again. Let's go to a back to that blue spring. It'd be more efficient if we did this later. I like that heavy on um, the top real quick. So one light spring, because I really know when blue spring is mine, uh, we're gonna come underneath and lay down on our carriage. So, from this position, since we've been working hard, let's do it. One leg in tabletop, other leg in tabletop. We'll straighten our arms out and straighten the legs. I'm gonna come in. We'll do a little prep here. This is a light spring. I kind of like this on a red. If we are doing this, we might play with it. Just because it's more supported, so it doesn't feel so loosey-goosey. But I need this, I want this light spring for what we're about to get into. Now, do you, don't push too hard, but my friends, we're gonna find our teaser. So let's straighten out these arms and legs. This is gonna be our home position. We're gonna lift our head up on an inhale. As an exhale, we push into our arms and roll all the way to the teaser, smile with our heart on the inhale, and then exhale, control down. Let those legs hover, don't let them drop all the way. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, so press into those arms. Push, 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 and lift. Lift through your heart, inhale. Exhale as you slowly go down, find the control. Legs hover, head drops, head lifts, inhale. Exhale as you press, 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 and press. Inhale, open that heart. Good, legs lower, legs lift, exhale. Good, legs lower, legs lift. Make sure you have enough room for your booty in your carriage. Last pass. 
We do leg circles at the top, open them up, drop them down and close them. Exhale. Good. One more, we reverse it here. Drop it down with the legs together, open and exhale, lift. Good, exhale on that lift. One more. Good, come down all the way. Nice. Now, press the carriage out just a little. A version of our knee spike. Sway these legs over one side. Just like you were doing it in real life or on the reformer regularly. Shoulders down. Exhale, come up. Good. Other side. Shoulders stay down, glued. Ankles are glued. Knees are glued. Couple more. Back couple. I mean, one more. We'll do it with straight legs. Change it up. Same thing. Shoulders are grounded. My elbows are hovering. Try to keep the sides of the feet together. Try to make sure you don't lift on my leg row, people. Push into it. My leg row is this brain of the reformer. If that got to you. Exhale, come up. Not brand, make. In the knees and then come down. Okay, so let us go to one red spring. I want you to feel from one spring and that's your lingo, one red. So we again, you were on one blue. <laughs> and then once we have this position, we'll do something else first and then we'll come back to that. So we change it up. Let's come to our knees on the carriage. And then knees are together, our hips are up against this bar. Let's find our T-arm. If you feel a little crazy about this at first, have those hands on those hips. So those knees go towards the shoulder stoppers. Press to the risers and bring knees back on the hips. Find a couple more of these. Good. Make sure you can control whatever's happening. Again, if you need hands on the hips so you can, you can help yourself if you need, do it. Now, act like you're between two planes of glass. Let me get this out first. So try not to let your body fold into a ball, depending on your flexibility issues. Now, the opposite arm that you're going is gonna reach. So that opposite arm is gonna reach the same side those knees are reaching to and come back to the T. Good. Opposite arm reaches to where we're pointing. Mm -hmm. And come up. One more like this. Now, off the other arm that we haven't been working with is going to reach the other side. Knee still goes the direction they go. Good. I know it feels a little funky, but it feels really good. Especially if you uh, sleep crazy. We usually all sleep a little crazy. Good. Last pass. In between two blades of glass. Good. Let's go ahead and go over to the other side of that. So. My hips up against it, we're all different heights. Arm turn to T, the knees go towards the risers where the ropes connect, and then we come back neutral. Exhale. All right. I don't want to give you a left and right, I don't want to confuse if there's anybody the opposite. So, the way our knees are pointing, I want that opposite arm. We're going to reach with that arm to where our knees are pointing. Our opposite arm is gonna to reach to where our knees are pointing and come up and out of it. Get back to neutral, T arm. Exhale, reach. Two planes of glass. Trying not to let my upper body curl forward. I'm gonna get into this. We reach the opposite side with the opposite arm. Knees do the same thing though. Find control, don't let that carriage slip underneath you. Good. Last pass. Awesome. Okay, let's lay back down. We're on that red spring, one spring. And we're gonna kind of do what we have started last time we were here. 
but we're gonna work on them just a little bit more. You'll notice some of what I was saying about the stability. So my palms are on the bar, legs and tabletop straighten on front legs, come back out. A little bit more of an arm workout, a lot more stable of a carriage. Good. Exhale, press is gonna be a little bit more abby. Press it out, let's keep it out. We're gonna scissor our legs. Really press that leg up into the bar. Shoulders don't creep, they sink down the spine. Stay stable in those hips. Exhale as you split open. Bicycle. Every time you bicycle, you find that split. Whatever the range of motion can handle. Obviously, I have things blocking my split, but that's the beauty of Pilates. It's depending on your position. We reverse it. Now, notice the alignment of the legs when you bicycle. Don't let those knees turn out. Don't let those feet turn out or in. Good. One more on each side. And we're gonna find our frogs. Heels together, toes apart. Bend the knees in. Exhale, press. Let's bend knees and elbows. Exhale, press. Just to give a little bit of distraction of what's happening to the abs. Exhale. Good. Think just like we would do with our legs and the straps, our frog variation. I'm gonna bring that to life, no straps here. We press it out, keep it out with the arms, our legs only, open out to a V. Then knees pin, the heels find each other. Exhale as you straighten those legs out. Open up, bend the knees, heels find each other. Exhale as you press it out, we'll do one more. Open those legs, bend the knees, heels find each other. Exhale as you press away. Let's reverse it, bend in, looking we'll get feet fancy here. Open up those legs, point the feet, bring those legs together. Flex the feet, bend in. Open those legs, point the feet, close. One more, bend. You open, point the feet, and close. Bend and bend, bring those feet down. Oh, let's come out of this position, shall we? I'm gonna go underneath, you can do whatever you want. So, from this position, I would not do that in a classroom setting. I would do push them out of that position. Um, for our next position here, let's go ahead and keep this red spring on. We're going to stand back up on top of the reformer. Stand back up. You're gonna bring your foot onto the carriage. Now I'm going to turn my feet out. So my hands are on the bar. We're gonna be really supported here. Open yourself out to the split position. Now keep this split position. We bend our knees, knees over toes, and we press it away. Good, bend it in. So I'm here supported with my bar. If you got strong people in the house, class setting, you're a strong person in the house, you could come here. So think more up against a wall, ballet position. Good. And really keep the ribs, bottom of the ribs, Squared off to the top of the ribs. These ribs don't flare up. Good. Again, completely okay holding on. I'm gonna come back. Press it out. Come in. Press it out. Keep it out. Press. Good. Find that stability for you. Come up, see if you can sit up. If not, this bar is right here. Good, just stay. Eight, seven, you know where we're going with this. Square the hips and the ribs. Find that breath. Bellies are supposed to move when we breathe. Fill them up. I think three and two. There we go, make sure you're not super rested on this. Come up out of the way. Good, let's go ahead and go to the other side. So almost done here. Um, like I said, if this is classroom setting, I usually set this up, do whatever moves I can gather within myself and then move them somewhere else. So I change the reform reform. So open it up. I'll explain more in a minute. And then we bend our knees in. Knees track right over the second toes. So find this position, find the support, stability first. Usually in a, uh, if you've got a bar like this, as you know, in studio settings, I don't usually like people jerking on the sides of the bar. 
There's lots of stuff that can accidentally disconnect if they're too mean to them. So I usually set it myself while they're on an apparatus and then change it uh, for them. Okay, but you're more than willing to teach your people. Um, personally, for my reformers, I like to do it myself. Good, press it out. If you feel, keep coming, let's keep doing this. If you feel like you can support yourself, do so however you plan on doing this. Think that large second position or a good sumo squat. Those knees over those toes. Feet are nice and balanced. Good. Making our flexibility work. So using the signs of our fascia, if we're making those fibers that are hella tight, that are just not wanting to let go, finally activate because they are pushing them in this flexibility, they'll finally let go for us. One more time. Find that split position. Stay. Good. We're not resting on the bar completely. Might be touching it. Find that body position. So neutral pelvis. I personally pop my butt out like Kim Kardashian style, big booty. I need to tuck my pelvis, tuck my tail, about a tail between my legs a little bit for me to neutralize my pelvis. Not too dramatic on that. I think we got like three more seconds. Two. And one, come out of it. Good. Okay. Let's calm ourselves down just a little bit. I think that's good for this bike or this bar position. I'm gonna sit down on the front of the reformer. So we can do a little bit of a little bit of something. Okay. Uh just different breathing technique here. Let's do this. Put your hands on your belly. Low belly. Same across belly. Breathe in. Fill that up. Pull the breath, get into there, and then exhale it out. I'm closing my eyes, my forehead needs to relax. Inhale, big, big belly breath. Exhale, our breath has a really cool function that if we touch a section, we know how to put breath there. Inhale, in our core anyway. If you took our arms and legs and head off, that's our core in my world. May you keep your arms and legs and head. Now put your hands on your low back and breathe in here. Give yourself time to feel this stuff, okay? Big breath. And your breath is actually supposed to fill all these sections up. Sometimes we're curled in such a position, breath can only go certain areas. So really making sure we're trying to stay tall. Big breath in one more place here. Fill up the back body. Now go to the side, bottom of the side ribs here. Breathe in. Keep your breath going. Don't let me stress you out. Do a little lymphatic drainage since we're here on this. Exhale, squeeze the ribs in. Inhale, big, big breath. Fill the ribs open up. Exhale, squeeze those ribs in. Inhale, no pinching, no pain. Exhale, squeeze those ribs in. One more. Exhale. Hands on our chest. Big breath in. Feel those ribs, some of those, yeah, upper ribs, I'm right. Those ribs lift up into those hands. Breathe it out. If you feel like you have a side that's a little bit more stuck, I'm gonna do it. That's why it's a little bit more stuck. I'm gonna bring more of a, something to grab onto with the breath so I have more hands there. So I can try to find this space in more places. I'm gonna go back and try to even myself out. Now, opposite hand on opposite rib here. I'm gonna hook myself right underneath my armpits, drop them down, relax those arms, big breaths in. We're finding the breath in our hands. Again. Okay. 
Now we put our hands lightly on our neck, lower neck here, right breath right in. These muscles in our neck or deep neck lift up on this, whenever this breath happens and they let go, or lengthen is a better word. Feel that. Trying to get more sensation there so it can release. Just need to be aware it's tight, aware that you're not getting breath there. Since we're doing such good breath work. Let's work on our sternum a little bit. So I have my finger, sternum is this bone on our chest. Um, I have my finger low. There's a little, there's a bone at the bottom of this bone. It's a really tiny bone. So don't go jamming and pushing anything hard there because you don't want to push on that. But right when you find a hard like plate-like surface, that's your sternum. So I'm going to find the bottom of that plate-like surface. And then my personal, I like to bevel the skin up over my finger. So like I'm pushing this layer of skin and then really pushing deep to my chest. Um, my big breasted women, anybody that had surgery, open heart surgery, you have a scar here. This is very intense, um, especially if you've never done this work on yourself before. And then you're like, oh, it's no big deal. And the next day you're like, oh, somebody cut me with a knife. Completely normal sensation. It's very sensitive. Lots of nerves right here on our rib cage too. I'm coming all the way up to where I slide off that bone so I'm not pressing into my throat or anything. So with two fingers, I'm going to kind of pat them up like this in a little line. And then just kind of work myself up my sternum, pushing side to side. No pinching, no pain. Not really trying to get this tissue to open up. Good. Make sure you're not looking down. Make sure you're not looking up. That neck alignment is muy importante. Very important. And then just one more. I'm going to pinch mine. If this is, if you're done, I already feel mine's pretty sensitive. i got blood flow going to it. Um, but I'm going to just go a little bit more because that's a lot to do with how our face is. And I like my face to be nice and tight. So I want this fascia, the superficial fascia to be nice and tight too. So it's not stagnant and making my face look all puffy. So I'm going to pinch mine. I'm going to use both hands and then just kind of pinch. And I'm think about pulling off your bone, a uh, very dramatic way to say it, but great intention. So coming all the way up, it's getting super tight. I work on this a lot for myself, so I'm pretty open where usually you'll be, if you just started this, you're like, oh my God, too much. It's okay, build yourself up. And then come up, <sighs> right underneath these bones right here, I'm just spreading this open, just to remind my chest to stay open. Always put your tissue where it needs to go. And then let us say some gratitude about ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. So sit here for a second and think about what's your most favorite quality about yourself? One of them anyway. And say thank you for that. Thank you that you love it and favor it. And think about something we need to work on. And give ourselves patience with that. We have a whole lifetime to learn it. And at least we're aware that we need to change or be or whatever. I'm trying to work on controlling my thoughts. If I ever have a, anything negative, I just try to shoot it off to what I want it to be like. Wherever you're, you're at, think about that. Think about what you're working on anyway. Now for this moment, this day, Tell your body thank you. Thank you that you came in this moment and did this. Always make sure you find these moments after you practice. Our body needs to be reminded that we're here for it um, and that we cherish it. So there's lots of stuff that we have influences these days. So much social media. Um, really try to stay grounded, uh, stay whole and know that you have a relationship with this vehicle. You have been very blessed to be with and that you have the help with. So um, the sooner you can find that relationship, the better. Mm. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining.